Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Brunton from the University of Washington, and I'm really excited about a new lecture series on the singular value decomposition, or the SVD. Uh, this is chapter one of our new textbook on data-driven science and engineering uh, by myself and Nathan Kutz. And I'm gonna walk you through this extremely useful tool, the SVD, in about 20 short lectures telling you all about how you can use it for data reduction, dimensionality reduction, and as a foundation of machine learning. Okay, so the SVD is one of the most uh, well-used and really just general purpose useful tools in numerical linear algebra for data processing. So I always think of this as a data reduction tool where you have high dimensional data, maybe you have megapixel images or you have a video with very, very high resolution, you have this big data. And the SVD is gonna help us reduce this data into the key features uh, that, are, that are necessary for analyzing, understanding, and describing this data. So the SVD is really one of the first steps in most dimensionality reduction or, or many dimensionality reduction and machine learning techniques. So more specifically than, than data reduction, I think of the SVD as a data-driven generalization of the Fourier transform. So data-driven generalization of the Fourier transform. Uh, and I'm just going to say the FFT. So the FFT is one of the most useful transformations in all of mathematics based on sine and cosine expansions to approximate functions. Uh, there's also Bessel's functions, Aries functions, spherical harmonics. And this, is, th this was the technique of the, the last generation of computational science and engineering was to use these mathematical modes, these mathematical transformations to map a system of interest into some new coordinate system where it would become simple. But in many systems of interest today, like let's say I have a turbulent flow over a, a Boeing wing, there isn't an easy off-the-shelf mathematical transformation or set of basis modes that describes that behavior. And so what the SVD, the singular value decomposition, is going to allow us to do is to tailor a coordinate system or a transformation based on the data that we have. So I think of these as tailored to the specific problem. Okay, so they have a lot of features in common with the Fourier transform as we're gonna learn uh, throughout the, this video sequence, but it's tailored to the sp specific problem uh, that you're interested in, to the specific data that you have access to. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm, in the next lecture, I'm gonna go through actually defining a data matrix, how you compute the SVD and what it means. Here, I just wanna tell you kind of how you can use it. So one thing you can do is you can use it to solve matrix system of equations, AX equals to B. So linear systems of equations for non-square A matrices. And we're gonna use this in particular for linear regression models. Uh, and for, for many other things. So if I have data, um, let's say health data for a bunch of patients, and I wanna build a model of how different risk factors map to some disease, I can build the best uh, fit model X given data A and B using least squares linear regression. Again, built on the, the singular value decomposition. I can also use this as the basis uh, for the principal component analysis, PCA which is one of the most widely used techniques in all of statistics for taking high dimensional data and trying to understand it in terms of its dominant patterns or correlations. So that's a key word we're gonna talk a lot about is correlation. Uh, the singular value decomposition is going to take high dimensional data and distill it down into the key features, the key correlations in that data that you can then use to interpret and understand and model that data. It really is used everywhere. Um, it's used in uh, Facebook, Google, Microsoft. Um, so for example, it's used in the Google uh, PageRank algorithm. So when you search something on Google and it presents the websites in an order, it's using an SVD for that, a singular value decomposition. Uh, it's the basis of many, many facial recognition uh, algorithms to tell who, uh, which person is who from an image. Uh, so you could again build these singular value de decomposition representations of human faces. Uh, 
Uh, it's also used in recommender systems like Amazon and Netflix, where it will essentially build correlation patterns of what types of people like what types of movies. And this is just a very, very, very brief list of all of the examples of the SVD in industry. So I always like to tell my students that the SVD is one of the most important algorithms uh, if you want to actually use uh, linear algebra to make money. Okay, so very, very useful. Part of the reason it's so widely adopted is because it's based on very, very simple linear algebra, simple and interpretable linear algebra, which means that uh, you can use it really on any, any time you have a data matrix, you can compute the SVD and you can get interpretable, understandable features that you can then build models on. Um, it's scalable. You can apply it to very large data sets. Um, and so that's, that's also nice is that, you know, Google has massive, massive data sets. They can still run these scalable singular value decompositions on their data. So I'm extremely excited about walking you through kind of all of the uses of the SVD. We're going to talk about um, principal components analysis, correlation matrices, least squares regression, eigenfaces for facial recognition, and a whole host of other things. So I hope you find this extremely useful. Again, it's chapter one of our book, Data Driven Science and Engineering. Uh, all of the code is online, so we'll also code up a lot of these examples in MATLAB and Python. Okay, thank you.